Lake Powell, the second largest reservoir in the United States, continues to shrink at a concerning pace. As of November 2, the reservoir stands at only 26% of its total capacity, exposing dry canyon walls that were once submerged under hundreds of feet of water. The drop has reached a critical stage, putting enormous pressure on the Glen Canyon Dam, which provides hydroelectric power to roughly 5 million people across seven western states. Currently, the lake is sitting about 155 feet below its full capacity, and the situation is becoming increasingly dire. Energy experts warn that the reservoir is approaching the so-called minimum power pool, the level at which water may become too low for the dam's turbines to operate efficiently. If that happens, Glen Canyon could soon stop producing electricity altogether, forcing communities to rely on more expensive and less sustainable energy sources. To maintain operations at Hoover Dam farther downstream, federal water managers have been releasing significant amounts of water from Lake Powell to replenish Lake Mead, which has also been struggling with record low levels. However, unofficial reports suggest that some of the released water might also be diverted to other destinations to meet regional demands, a claim that, while unconfirmed, reflects the growing tension and competition over the Colorado River's dwindling supply. Officials from the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation acknowledge the seriousness of the situation, warning that if current weather patterns persist and water consumption remains high, Glen Canyon Dam could face operational shutdowns by next year. Persistent drought across the Colorado River Basin, combined with overuse and rising temperatures, has accelerated the decline of both Lake Powell and Lake Mead over the past two decades. Hydrologists note that even a single wet winter is unlikely to reverse the long-term trend. The Colorado River has been heavily overallocated for decades, providing water to more than 40 million people and millions of acres of farmland. As climate change intensifies, snowpack in the Rocky Mountains, the river's main source, continues to diminish, leaving less runoff to fill the reservoirs. If Lake Powell were to reach dead pool status, when water levels drop too low for it to pass through the dam's outlet works, it would not only end hydroelectric production but also disrupt water deliveries to major cities and agricultural regions downstream.